Hey everyone, it's Dawn with TwiceYearCheap.com and today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the different types of photographs that you may be taking for your business. So we've been talking mostly about product photos. So there are two types of photos that you really need for your business. You need product photos, which are on a nice clean white background or a simple background. These are the ones who are going to be your main Etsy shop. Um, photos or your main website photos. They're the ones that show just the product by itself without any other clutter or any additional stuff. That way the customer who's going to purchase your product knows exactly what they're going to get. They don't think that, oh, if I purchase this yarn, I'm going to get the stitch markers that go with it. Or if I purchase this candle, I'm going to get the flowers or whatever else that's in your photo. You know, that they know that it's just your product, exactly what they're going to get. Um, you want to show it from multiple different angles, maybe from front on and from side. If you're photographing a pattern, you want to make sure that you've got a nice close up of detail work along the hem or on the yoke or wherever it is that you've got detail in your pattern. You want to make sure that you've got a nice close up photo of just that section. You also, if it's a pattern, you want to make sure that you've got a nice full sized picture of the entire thing. That way you're not, it doesn't look skewed and people aren't like, oh, well, I really love the front of this cardigan, but I have no idea of what the back looks like. And when they knit it, they're really surprised and that's no fun. Um, when you photograph yarn, you want to make sure that you've got a nice shot of the entire skein, how it's going to look. Maybe you want a shot of it in a round ball all swirled up pretty so you can see all the colors together. Maybe you want to have a shot of a knitted swatch so that you can see how the colors play together um, in, in the round or flat or whatever. So these are product shots. These are things on a clean background and are going to show exactly what the customer is going to get. The other type of photography is mostly what you see on Instagram or on Pinterest or things like that. And these are what we call lifestyle photographs, lifestyle photographs. This is where you see your product kind of in its natural habitat. How is it going to be used? This is when you see um, pictures of a hat in progress or um, where you see some somebody modeling the cardigan out on the moors of Scotland and they're staring off into the mist and there's beautiful sheep in the background and it makes you want to knit that cardigan just so that you could live in that scene. That's a lifestyle photo. A flat lay on Instagram where they've got a beautiful skein of yarn and a pair of knitting needles and those fancy little hair and scissors that everybody has and you know arranged just so that's a lifestyle photo in general you want your product photos your simple photos are going to be part of your pattern that you're going to be selling they're going to be on your website they're going to be on etsy those are the things that people are going to see first to make sure that they know exactly what they're going to get a lifestyle photo is something to make somebody want to buy it somebody to make somebody love you and love your product. So it's, you know, yarn in the wild, you, uh, another very typical, you know, really stylized lifestyle photo for um, fiber artists is to show somebody knitting on a cliff somewhere in the, in the mountains. Like they've gone on a hike and they've brought their socks along and there's this huge panoramic view and they're sitting on a rock and knitting. And you can't really see what they're knitting. It's too far away. It's not like you're trying to show the pattern. It's not like you're trying to really show off the yarn. It's just kind of to give the impression and the feel of what you want to give. So your product may be cut off a little bit. It doesn't show the entire sweater. It doesn't show um, 
the full skein of yarn. It just shows a hint or, you know, it might be some knitting needles with a half knit swatch next to a cup of tea so that it makes you think about how warm and inviting that is and how much you want to just sit down and knit. Um, it might be um, your swatch of knitting laying in a field of wildflowers. You're never going to be, you know, you're probably never going to be laying in a field of not wildflowers or, you know, your, your yarn doesn't live there normally, but it's something that evokes a feeling or an emotion in, in your customer that makes them want that. So that's what we're going to be creating in some lifestyle photos. So over this next week, um, we're going to be talking about lifestyle photos. We're going to be talking specifically about flat lays. Um, I find that they are really conducive to selling yarn, to selling small knitting patterns. Um, it's mostly what you see on Instagram and on Facebook and on Pinterest. And so those are the kinds of photographs that are going to help build your social media and help build your email list. So let's build some beautiful lifestyle photographs together this week. See you tomorrow. Bye.